Hello, welcome to the weekly technical analysis review. It's Monday, June 19th. I'm Selena Nicholas, technical analyst at XM.com. And we'll look at some major pairs on the daily chart. We'll start with Euro USD. Uh, for now, Euro USD is moving sideways, uh, pivoting the 1.12 level. So the direction of the next move is unclear for now. Only a break below 1.11 the range low or above the range high close to uh, 1.13 level uh, this would give a clearer direction but overall if you look at the technical picture it's still bullish uh, the uptrend from the lows of 1.0340 that's the 2017 low so far this is still intact this uptrend and there was a bullish crossover of the 50-day moving average with the 200-day moving average in late May. And as well, the market is above the daily Chimoku cloud and the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen lines are positively aligned, as well as the momentum oscillators still in bullish territory, although indicating some consolidation for the near term. Now let's take a look at pound dollar. It the pound was showing signs of weakness recently, uh, and we saw a drop from the high of 1.3046 down to 1.2634. And um, dropping below the 50-day moving average to give a more bearish bias to the pair, and also uh, falling below the key 1.27 level was giving a bearish bias. But uh, we saw a bit of a bounce back now although the market is still capped by the 50-day moving average. This is rising though, the 50-day, so uh, we could see a further bounce higher, but this is acting as key resistance. We need to see a move above 1.29 to see at least a more bullish picture. And uh, important support lies at the low of, of 1.26.34. A move below the 200-day moving average, uh, just below this low, would start to change the picture. We we did have a, an uptrend from 1.2108 all the way up to 1.3046. Um, of course, uh, the short-term picture, we're seeing a neutral bias, but, but overall, this uptrend is still uh, held intact for now. Let's take a look at dollar yen. Oh, if we look at the bigger picture, we see that dollar yen is actually making lower lows, lower highs. Although it's it's now been holding close to a key level of 110. And if we look closely, the 50-day moving average, the so orange line, is converging with the 200-day moving average. Uh, it's near the 111 level so the market is now at a critical point this 111 level would act as important resistance that needs to be passed surpassed soon but remaining below the 112 area uh, might keep the bias to the downside although right now we're seeing more of a consolidation phase and the technicals technical indicators giving still in bearish territory and the market is still below the Ichimoku cloud so we need to see if if the market is actually now trying to carve out a lower top and especially if there's a break below 108.12 this would confirm a lower high and then move down to a lower low now let's take a look at Aussie dollar, it's short-term bullish. We could see that bounce from 0.7330 above the key level of 0.76. So this uh, uptrend is still intact and the market is now above the 200-day moving average. In fact, that's acting as a support level now, just around 0.7527. So this should be an important support level. But of course, uh, the pair is finding resistance 
at the high of uh, 0.7634 and we need to see momentum pick up to to head towards 0.77 and this would be Q resistance as well as is the year-to-date high of 0.7748 um, otherwise uh, moving back down below the 200 day moving average and the key level of 0.75 would start to change this short-term bullish picture and we might resume a downtrend uh, that had taken place from the high of 0.7748 to 0.7333 but for now we could say this short-term bias is still to the upside let's take a look at kiwi kiwi dollar had quite a bullish phase a strong uptrend from 0.6816 all the way up to 0.7318 and this short-term bias uh, is expected to hold uh, based on all the technical studies still very bullish prices above the 200 day moving average above the cloud rsi and macd still very bullish but um a, f a move further up is expected to find solid resistance we have the recent high of 0.73 18 and 0.73 75 will act as resistance but uh, in the near term just based on the bullish technical indicators the market is expected to stay uh, supported to the upside unless uh, we have a deep correction below the 200 day moving average and finally let's look at gold we could see gold was making higher highs, higher lows since back uh, when we had the low of 1122.66. We saw quite a bounce higher and moving average, the 50 day moving average crossed above the 200 day moving average, giving a bullish signal back in May. Although now prices are heading below this 50 day moving average. So the th just coming close to the 1300 level we saw prices turn back down and 1240 this level is a very important support level it's also close to the 200 day moving average and breaking below this would actually start to change this bullish phase that was taking place and dropping below um, the 1214.17 low would actually uh, start to to strengthen uh, a bearish move and if we look at rsi that's already dipped below 50 into bearish territory but otherwise the big picture we could uh, we could say that the uptrend is still intact as long as prices remain above 1240 so that's it for now thanks so much for watching have a great day